This is Matt Sandy from AppUp.io. I just wanted to kind of go through a rundown of how I put together a very simple text analysis from the first uh, Trump-Clinton presidential debate. I went ahead and I did a Google search for the transcript and I found the Washington Post had one. I will put this URL in the gist for the R file. It's going to be in the top of the comments. Um, so the transcript starts right here and then see it goes for quite a while so we're just gonna have to scroll down here to the end and it ends right uh, here go ahead and copy that one thing to note is this ad for the sign up will be embedded into the transcript file so we're gonna have to remove that manually afterward I'm gonna go ahead and open up my text editor I use BB edit uh, sublime and Adam work just as well um, this just feels light away for me um, but you know, I use Atom and Sublime as well. Brackets is also a really good one. Um, so you want to go ahead and find where that ad got embedded. Uh, not the one that I just sort of did for my BB edit, but the one for uh, <laughs> the newsletter sign up. And you go ahead and take that out. And you'll notice that this is not in a format that is readable for any sort of data processing. Uh, so what I'm going to end up doing, uh, just do a find and replace and uh, I already had some in here from last time, but we'll go ahead and do that. The uh, double new lines, just the single new line. And then um, go ahead and do Trump to Trump. And uh, this will make it more of a CSV. We'll do the same thing for Clinton and Clinton. And uh, 94 again. And then for Holt, um, I ended up replacing all of them to his whole name uh, in the code, or full name in the code instead of just the last name, but we'll just do the last name here to show you kind of how it's done. Um, and one thing to note on this is there were, there were, I guess there was one instance where it used his full name, and that's probably why I was doing that. Um, so we'll need to replace his full name uh, just to keep the continuity. Um, yep. Let's see. Oh, that's sorry about that. Um, so I already. I'm just gonna actually do this manually. There's no reason to make that programmatic since I already know that's the only instance. Um, but I am going to change Holt to Lester Holt. Um, just because that way it's the same as in the in the code, uh, and then this will not actually be legible at all for uh, the the CSV. Um, so we're going to have to uh, do a few things. One is this applause, um, or really anything in these uh, parentheses will have to be removed. So I'm just going to go like this and go next, 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 next. So you'll see crosstalk and applause, laughter. Uh, I'm going to replace all of these with just nothing because they are not needed for this. And then we'll go through one more time, replace double new lines with single new lines. And then the other thing that has to be replaced is um, we have commas in the statements um, so we're gonna have to look for them and there, there are probably better regular expressions to use honestly but this is what I know and that's what I use and um, so d this changes I think between a few text editors but uh, to replace what you've found in BB Edit it's one and I think it's the same in Sublime as well um, Adam probably uses it but if you just read the documentation, it'll it'll let you know. Um, so there's Clinton replacing everything in quotes so that the CSV file, the second column, is uh, contained in quotes. And then we'll go ahead and Trump, Trump, and then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, oops, Mr. Hold. And then Lester Holt. 
Alright, so everything got replaced with these uh, quotes, which will help with the readability. Uh, I don't have to worry about spaces right now because we're going to be removing all of those later in the code. Um, so now if we go ahead and uh, go to our R Studio. Um, R Studio is amazing. I love it. I am working with, I guess just myself, but I'm working on another uh, way of kind of exploring data, but it will run on top of our studio just because our studio is amazing. Uh, anyhow, here's the Washington Post uh, transcript URL. Uh, so we're just going to read it in. I already have it saved here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and read that. And you'll, you can see what it looks like. Uh, just, you know, column one is the name, uh, and then column two is uh, the statement. And um, I'm going to change this to candidate statement, even though Lester Holt is not a candidate. Uh, he'll be removed later. I just uh, I like to keep him in just in case I wanted to maybe do anything um, with the data that he provided. Um, so transcript melted. Um, we're just taking, you know, creating an empty matrix. Uh, and this obviously can be uh, cleaned up quite a bit from this for loop. Our, most people here know that R is not good for for loops, um, but this is such a small data set, it doesn't really matter. Anyhow, uh, we're going to go through, <coughs> and now we've created a nice, uh, nice thing right here. <coughs> Sorry about that, clearing my throat. Uh, so Lester Holt, uh, and then, you know, there's, oh, I should explain some of this code, actually. Uh, this is, I think, really clever. I found part of this online, and... Um, and then I changed some of it for myself, but basically anything that is not alphanumeric and then or a space uh, will rep be replaced with uh, emptiness. And then uh, anything that is a space will be used to split the string. Uh, I love it. It works great. And uh, I haven't run into any real issues with it. Um, Anyways, uh, so that's that's where that all came from, um, and now we have this nice little uh, melted transcript where it has every word uh, by the person. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna convert that to a data frame and then change the column names into candidate and word, uh, just because that'll be useful. <laughs> Uh, we're going to go ahead and remove all of the entries where the word is nothing or just a space. And then we, you know, get that uh, slimmed down a little bit. We're going to slim it down more by removing Lester, sorry, Lester. And then we are going to uh, convert everything to lowercase, um, which will be useful later when we're counting things. Um, so now we... Uh, I want to go ahead and factor just because if we run this without refactoring, then uh, Lester will just keep showing zero since we removed everything that he said. Uh, we create a nice summary um, using the candidate and the word to create this uh, nice little frequency table, basically. Uh, summary right here. Right now it just says var1, var2 frequency. Uh, <clears throat> There, so some of this happened with uh, just like truncating those uh, those non-alpha numerics, and it created you know some of these numbers, but they're not really uh, important in this. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's see here, where are we now? Oh yeah, we'll go ahead and reorder that, and then we can print this out. Uh, just to see in the council. And we can see the most used ones right up here. Uh, the and, you know, the obvious articles and whatnot. Uh, there are a few interesting things. We'll get to that later. Um, so what I did next is I created an export table. Another empty matrix. Uh, I just, you know, they're easy. They're simple. They make sense when you look at it. Uh, other people probably have different opinions. That's okay. Uh, now I just go ahead and 
I loop through the unique words that are in the uh, transcript melted data frame and I look through the difference. Uh, basically I want the difference to be at least 20 so I want one of the candidates to have said the exact same word more than 20 times less or more than the other candidate. And uh, then I just print out the word and I, I go ahead and I uh, get the actual value. I put this in two lines. These can be combined. I just put them on two lines because it was such a long thing. Uh, I, you know, again, people probably have a better way of doing it. I was thinking about just doing the table uh, for that word, but I wasn't sure if uh, Clinton and Trump would always be returned in the same order. So I just figured, you know what, better safe than sorry. Plus, if you wanted to pull these values uh, to do something else, uh, I think it's, you know, pretty simple. Um, and anyway, uh, export table, export table, um, you know, row bind to itself with uh, Trump, the word, and uh, the numerical value for how many times Trump said that word, and then the same thing with Clinton, the word, and how many times Clinton said the word. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and run this uh, whole section, and you know, we get a nice uh, export for that. It, it does show Clinton always saying it before Trump. I'm actually not sure if that was because of the order or if it was because of um, the, the factor, uh, like how it's factored. It, so if you're not working with factors, I'm not entirely sure um, if the same thing would happen, so I just didn't want to mess it up in case some people didn't want to use factors. Um, and then, uh, all right, next thing, uh, Clinton said more. Um, this is just more of a, a fun thing to just kind of see um, which time, like, which time Clinton said the word more versus uh, Trump. Um, <laughs> another Twitter thing. Uh, all right, and then a little factoid, uh, which I thought was fun. This is just how many times, how many words more Trump said than Clinton. Um, so to run this. Uh, you know, it's surprisingly, I thought it was actually getting to be higher, but uh, Trump talked 1.35 times more than Clinton, or at least said 1.35 more words, uh, even though most of the words are probably uh, redundant. Um, so I go ahead and I, I just, you know, wrote these two. Um, so export table, which you can see right here, and then... Uh, I also did the transcript melted, um, which has basically just the transcript melted is everything, and then the export table was just the ones that were off by 20, um, or at least 20. And um, I went ahead and I imported those into Tableau, and you know you can use ggplot as well. ggplot is great. I love it. I use it for uh, internal tools a lot, but. I know a lot of people like to have visual editors, and I'm working on a visual editor that is not quite done yet, but this, you know, suffices. Um, and I went ahead and I just, you know, obviously color coordinated this for Clinton and Trump to be blue and red. Um, and then I went ahead and I did a percent along, um, I think it was along the row. Yeah. so. The analysis shows the percent along the row, uh, but the labels are showing the actual frequency. And so when I, you know, hover over these, you'll see like 90, like yeah, 80s and so forth. Um, and then I think I have these ordered in a specific way, but I forgot actually which way I did that. Uh, it's not really important, but, you know, some of these results are not surprising, um, obviously. She would be said more by Trump than by Clinton because uh, the candidate's gender. Um, same thing goes for he. Uh, one thing that I really liked was very. Um, this this made me kind of smile. Uh, very was said 80, 84.5 times the word very was said was said by Trump. And then uh, me, obviously, is another good one. Um, yeah, and, uh, and there are the overall words that are running off of the transcript melted. Um, so yeah, this is running off of export table right up here. This is running off of transcript melted. 
Uh, and then this is just, I sorted by the total amount of times the word was um, said, combined. So, you know, it goes down and down and down. But, um, yeah, I think this is kind of a, you know, start to finish. And I didn't, I didn't know if there was anything that showed exactly this uh, already on the, online, but I thought maybe it would help some people that are wanting to get started in this kind of field or just, you know, wanted to get started in, started in this kind of a, a hobby. Um, but yeah, this is uh, Matt Sandy from AppUp.io and I'm hoping to throw some more of these kind of videos up if there are interest, if there's interest in them. Um, wish I uh, had a script. I, I kind of just uh, winged it, but yeah, it, so the uh, the dashboard I have here just shows uh, speech analysis from the Trump versus Clinton debate, and then most used words. And um, you know, this is super simple. Um, it's not very involved. It's not even correcting for just the uh, the volume of words that Trump said uh, in comparison to Clinton, because he did he did talk more. Um, I would like to have the uh, time based analysis, uh, but I don't have the time for that um, in, in more ways than one, I guess. But yeah, I uh, hope everyone liked it. I hope it was useful, and uh, I hope there is interest for me to make more of these.